All right, hey, good morning, everybody. Um, you know, last few weeks we've been home and watching some Netflix and different things like that. The number one show on Netflix last few weeks has been um, The Floor is Lava. Um, if you were a kid, I'm sure at some point in your life you played the game The Floor is Lava. And um, it just gave me the idea, you know, this is a great uh, exercise game. It's, it, it's a lot like Wipeout and uh, Holy Moly, they have to run the obstacle courses and things like that. And I'm all about obstacle courses. My kids love it in the gym. They love it. Um, here at home, I've had kids that have sent me videos of different obstacle courses they've made at home, inside, outside, backyards, things like that. And I've posted some videos about obstacle courses too. Well, um, so we went over to my parents' house, Nana's house today, and uh, we made some, we played the floor is lava. Uh, I got a little trophy out and said, you know, here's the trophy. Your goal is to get to this trophy before, uh, without touching the ground, without touching the lava. And you know, you were a kid once and you played this game and you had a blast doing it. Well, uh, you know, my kids did it. And sometimes I just didn't do a very good job setting it up. The next time made it a little more difficult, a little more difficult. But uh, parents and coaches, this is a great activity you can do with your kids. And it kind of gave me an idea instead of just making the obstacle courses when school starts and when COVID's over and we get to get back together, you know, we're gonna play the floor is lava. Um, you know, we could set up four or five or six different obstacle courses for kids to have to go through, but saying you cannot touch the ground during this just by using, um, you know, uh, balance beams and using, you can even use scooters to stand on to, you can, um, uh, the chair scooters, you can use, um, um, you know, pyro jumps, like we have, we have jump boxes that I can break into about six different pieces and sit out there. And you can also buy just little pads and little mats to put on the floor too and just tell the kids, you know, if we get to point A to point B without touching the ground. And uh, my kids loved it. Here's the video of it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you put it into practice. And let's have a great week at home in PE. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Paisley got it. <laughs> oh, no. If I jump, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, start those jumping jacks. The floor is lava. Paisley, come to the floor. 25 and you're back in the game. Lava. Paisley, hop on that. Thanks. After you 25, you can get back at the start. Wait, we're gonna get more. Guys, come help me. Uh, not those, they're out of the game. Oh, you can't push, this, push the rocks along. Keep them in one spot. Oh, 25, I saw that. Jumping jacks. Nah, no scooting on this, that cheating. I no, saw that. <laughs> Tighten, nah, uh, uh, uh. Don't take them out of the bag. Oh, 25. Not those, they're out of the game. 
Oh, you can't push this, push the rocks along. Keep them in one spot. Oh, 25. I saw that. Jumping jacks. Nah, no scooting on this no cheating. No I saw it. that. <laughs> Tighten, nah, uh, uh, uh. Don't take them out of the bag. Oh, 25. You got it. Good job.